stunt and blitz today. Some good moments for this Michigan offense. Inconsistent throw through the first two games as they handed off to Chris Evans and he stopped at the line. It's been the run game. Going to have to identify well today for Michigan. On second and ten, they swing it out. Here's Giles Jackson who gets thrown down in the backfield by Devon Matthews. A familiar position against Michigan State, third and long. And Milton's first throw down the sideline and Cornelius Johnson couldn't get it. Jamar. Second Michigan drive begins with a toss to the freshman Blake Corum, who lowers the shoulder and gets a few. Is their most dynamic back. I understand you get in a mix up of like <laughs> yes. 48 players of the year. He loses yards this time. The target's no longer on the Wolverines. Third and long again. Joe Milton steps up. He'll take off, needing the 35. He's not going to get it. Spilled after a gain of about 10. Drive begins with a deep drop. Another downfield throw into a tight window and incomplete behind Roman Wilson. He figures, let's get guys that we know can cover, and the bigger ones, and move them to safety. Charbonnet's first touch. Burrows forward to four, 5 and it'll be third down. Mason will dictate this call. On third and five, they bring five. It's picked up, giving Milton time, but it's incomplete as he tried to thread it through to Jackson. You just can't play between the tackles against this group. They start on the ground, Hassan Haskins, who probes his way through there on his first carry of the day and gets close to a first down. Mix that run in. Back-to-back -back carries for him. Spinning his way into a little bit of space before he's cut down by McFadden. That's what it was, yeah. <laughs> Who are you picking? He went McFadden. Here's a bootleg. Milton gets hit as he throws and a first down as he finds Ronnie Bell. First down from the 41. It is Haskins again with nowhere to go. And they know this scheme inside and out. On second and nine, facing pressure. Confident throw, but off the hands of Henning. He's been working on those second level throws. Pressure again on third down, lets it fly, nobody home, and it's fourth down, a miscommunication between Milton and it feels forced and difficult. Start with a straight ahead run, Hassan Haskins, who gets two. Little guys in space. Second and seven, back to back, Haskins runs, pulled down at the line of scrimmage by Thomas Allen, and it'll be third and five. Milton throws incomplete. 56 seconds, one timeout. They're going to let Joe Milton throw it, see what he can do here in the closing seconds. So check it down to Chris Evans. Evans able to run around Taylor, who took a poor angle. Second, still that one timeout. First down from the 48 yard line. Milton steps up over the middle, through the hands, and incomplete. Defensively, still has not turned it over this year. Second and 10. Milton out of a clean pocket. Finds Eubanks who couldn't bring it in. And they've gone 0 for 5. Indiana bringing pressure. In trouble. And sets. Some gimmies. Starting the first drive of the second half with a run to the freshman Blake Corum. There's a flag down in the area of holding as he gets a few. So with a penalty of first and 20 and a throw from Milton. Huge window over the middle of the field for Ronnie Bell. And he fights his way for a first down. More than eight catches in his career. Pressure off of the edge here. It's picked up. Milton steps up. Resets the feet. Down the field. It's Bell. Ronnie Bell keeps his balance to take it inside the... That first drive of the half. He'll throw it on the first drive, first play of this drive, and he's got Cornelius Johnson settling for a reception. It's completed his last four. Well protected here, over the middle of an incomplete. Bell, the intended receiver. So, the last two games, his team has had a call pretty much every time against them. Milton has all day here, but the coverage downfield is tight, so he has to try to run, and D.K. Bonham slams him down for a loss. Three on two rushes today. Third down and 12, steps into the pocket, floating one, boom, coverage, but he overshot Bell. Third and seven for the Wolverines, down 17, pressure coming from Indiana, it's picked up, so Milton has time and a first down. Nick Eubanks. Now, it's just do they have enough time. Milton goes to the short side of the field, that's Charbonnet out of the backfield for a short. Second and six, pick the Charbonnet. 
Milton steps up. He'll check it down. Charbonnet again. He's got a first down inside the 25 to the 21. Third career start for a guy who has high expectations but learning on the job. Floats one for the end zone. Ronnie Bell, touchdown! Drive begins at the 35 with a straight drop from Milton. Who's pressured. He slips the first man and has a man come loose on the sideline. There's Cornelius Johnson. But as it's going on. First down from the 47. He looks to throw again. Clean pocket again. That ball's thrown right to a defender. Jalen Williams, the interception. He's got one in all three games. He's still alive. He's got a couple of blocks to take him inside the 35. And Most explosive running back's hands. From the 46, it's Quam again. Michigan fans getting excited watching this kid. Behind the action. Pressure coming out of the secondary. Milton gets rid of it just in time. Across the 40, Cornelius Johnson. To do so late in the fourth quarter. They need a lot more in this case. Down 17. Milton wide side of the field and incomplete off of the hands of Roman Wilson. Clock still running on second and four. Out of the backfield, Charbonnet is wide open. He's got a first down, out of bounds. Way too much time. And ultimately lost by three. Pressure coming. Bill has a wide open man out of the backfield in Charbonnet, but didn't get rid of it. And they're going to say that it's a fumble and a recovery by Indiana. Second and ten. Pressure coming again. Milton backpedals and throws incomplete to the flag down. Game is called by Kane Wobbin. Aggressive from start to finish. And coming off of the corner here and getting home, it's James. Third down and 25, rushing just three this time, so Milton has time to size things up downfield. Now gets Chase, heaves it downfield, and it's picked off by Matthews. Second interception of this fourth quarter by the Hoosiers.